Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be, I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a review for the new trailer for Pixels. I'm um, sad. So this week, um, the, tra the trailer for Pixels and the Mission Impossible 5 Rogue Nation um, was released. So I'm going to do a review for both of, both of them. Um, actually, they came out last week. Um, so yeah, big time. Just busy with homework. Um, this spring break, I mean, homework. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, the Pixel trailer, if you guys haven't checked that out yet, I'm gonna leave a link, um, down below for those who wanna, wanna go check it out. Uh, sorry. For those who wanna check it out, it's about two minutes long, it's a little bit over two minutes long. And, yeah, basically, this is the new Adam Sandler movie. Um, Peter Dinklage is also in it, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe Josh Gad may be in it as well, I'm not, I'm not completely sure. Um, so... And basically, it's based off a short, this uh short film with, and basically video games. I don't want to say it comes to life. It's more like an Indian invasion type of thing. And my stepbrother, he describes it almost like the video game version of Ghostbusters, which in some extent it is. Basically, you have um you have in this case you have video games who are coming and attacking, and yeah, they're attacking New York, and so now you have these four people. Um, you have Adam Sandler, P Peter Dinklage. Maybe Josh Gad and some other guy, um, and they basically have to either kill or, or destroy or capture all the video games. And basically, these video games are kind of more like aliens. Um, they said that they start off with um this uh with spaceship saying that they sent a message out to space. Um, and somehow they interpreted it as a threat and sent down video game characters, you know, such as Donkey Kong. Um, and Pac-Man into it, and yeah, you have a cameo from the creator of Pac-Man, apparently, I'm not, I'm not completely sure if that's true, um, you just, I have some guy there saying that he created Pac-Man, and, yeah, I mean, oh, it looks, looks like it's gonna be fun, funny, um, thing is, that's an Adam Sandler movie, so it could go either way, but hopefully it looks good, uh, th this is one of those, those movies I have no idea what to make out of, because it has an interesting plot, but it's an, but it's an Ad Adam Sandler movie, so, I mean, yeah, that's, I don't know, it's an Adam Sandler movie, so that's really the one issue. Um, because, you know, some Adam Sandler movies are actually pretty good, you know, Billy Madison, that was actually pretty good. Um, Bedtime Stories, I actually did enjoy. So he does have some pretty good stories, um, movies. But at the same time, for every good movie he has, he has some pretty bad movies. Example A, Jack and Jill, maybe one of the worst movies ever create, created. I mean, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, overall, it's pretty funny. I mean, they, again, they reference a lot of video games, Donkey Kong, um, Pac-Man, uh, who, who else? Let's see, who else was there? Um, q -Bert, they have q here as well. So it's just pretty funny. I'm really excited for to actually see what this movie, um, you know, you have a bit of space shooter, I think it is, um, at least it seems to be a space shooter. I don't know the actual game. Um... I, I just really want to see this movie, see exactly how good it is. Um, you know, one, I think one of the funniest shots, or one of the most out of nowhere shots, though, is the one with Pong. This one is one with Pong and Pong, um, the ball and the one of the, the one of the sticks or whatever, one of the side the paddles. Um, it's going against like the the, the uh, I forgot what it's called. The, it's the India that's building that, yeah, that came out wrong, but <laughs> um. I forget what it's called. I forgot what the building's called, but I forget what the building's called. But it's just, um, right now, but the Taj Mahal, that's what it was. Um, it's going, it's just like going against the Taj Mahal. It just looks hilarious. One of the most interesting thing is that if a video game touches you, or if a video game touches anything in general, it turns into pixels. Hence the name pixels. Um, so I mean, overall, I really want, I really want to see it. It looks like it's gonna have, may have a bit of a family element, which kind, of, which kind of does worry me. Um. But aside from that, I'm, I am interested in, in the movie. I'm not gonna say I'm excited because it's one of those things, double edged sword. But I am interested to see how the movie turns out. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know when it comes out though. Um, this summer, I believe. So yeah, that's basically my thoughts on the movie. But overall, I'm really excited. Just you know, I am excited, but I will come into the movie with cautious, cautious. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this review on the Pixels trailer, for those that you checked check it out though. Um, again, link down below for those who haven't checked it out, check it out, and 
yeah, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the movie. I mean, on the trailer. Trailer, are you going to go check it out once it comes out? You know, what are your thoughts on that? Comment on that down below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or wherever you prefer. Follow me on Instagram, Daniel Mart. Daniel Mart. And aside from that, that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart. Happy